Hey, 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 ask my peeps. Happy Friday to you. I need to apologize. I came on last earlier this week and did a, uh, I think it was on Tuesday, I did a live. And I haven't been able to do it since. I've been so busy with trying to get this uh, customer service representative, the one that's answering our phones hired, that I've been just completely warped with that. Today we're going to talk a little bit about picking the right softener in your home and how we as plumbers go about doing that. First of all, if you're watching this live on, on Facebook, type in live. If you're watching this on replay, type it in replay. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Chuck, thanks for joining us, buddy. Um, well, let us know where we're watching from. I, I really love seeing all the different places in the world that is, this is coming out to. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Click the little notification bell and you'll get notified every time we come live. It's usually within a few hours of us doing this. So I'm going to talk about today picking the right softener for your home. And there's a few things that we got to know as a plumber in order to, to pick the right one for your home. So the very first thing we need to know is, number one, we need to know what your water pressure is. We need to know whether or not that, that pressure is going to be safe to put a water softener in. Now, we don't want it to put in too much pressure in the in the line. So what we'll have to do is check it and make sure it sits within that, that right pressure spot. If it's not, we have to install a pressure-reducing valve. The next thing we'll do is we'll check the hardness of your water. Now, what is hardness? Hardness is minerals that's collected from the ground that creates buildup and damage to plumbing fixtures. Now these can come in different forms of, of magnesium, chlorine, so high sodium levels, um, carbon, um, alkali, all different sorts of things that can go into this hardness. Now we have a test kit that we measure that hardness and then we are able to know exactly what we need to set your water softener for in your home. Now we base the size of the water softener on the amount of grains you have coming in your home. So if you have a high amount of grains, we'll give you a little bit higher softener to cover those grain ranges. Now we usually commonly here in Rock Springs area use what they call a 45 grain or 45,000 parts per million grain um, softener. And the reason we use that is because we're usually averaging between um, 12 to, to 25. I've even seen them as high as 70 grains around here. But that 12 to 25 will give us the perfect range with the 42. Um, and that's enough to keep it to where it lasts a little bit longer. Now, if it was a little bit lower, like if you were in the eight, seven or eight uh, grains, you might be doing a 32,000 grain uh, softener. You don't need as much, but it depends on your home. And that's why one of the reasons we want to check your, your water test and, and make sure that it's right. Now, when we do this, we're going to put in a certain style of head on this water softener. It's called a clack head. And basically, the way water softeners used to work is it was based on time that it would clean itself. What happens is as that softener is, is attracting the hardness inside it, it gets collected and it gets gooped up, and it needs to clean itself. And it's called a regeneration. And so basically what we need to do is make sure that we're getting an accurate regeneration and not doing it based on time. If we do it based on time, you could be not using your water at all, and then it just automatically cleans it when it doesn't need it. The new clack heads have a built-in program memory system that tests your water every every night and checks it at 2 a.m. and makes sure that that grainage is where it needs to be. And if it, it's got it to where it's cleaned, to it needs to be cleaning, and I'm stuttering today, I can tell it's Friday, I'm tired. If it needs to be cleaned, then that clack head's gonna turn it on. But that's based on your use. And that's why we use the clack head. It's called a metering system instead of a clock system. And I'm going to show you what that looks like kind of on the front and the, and the back. Let's flip this around here. So here I have just a basic water softener. This is a 3200. This is my demonstration model. Um, and this is a halo system. And you notice that the heads on them look almost exactly alike. And that's because they're both clack heads. Now, the clack heads, we can take it apart here and I'll show you the way this works. It's a big electronic board system and we do all of our programming from the front but if you take this board out on the back side and I can show you right here you can see right there that it's got this little rotor and what happens is as that rotor comes through it's clocking the amount of water that's flowing through the head and that's what's telling the computer exactly how many gallons you're using. When that computer says okay I've got so many gallons through here I need this many gallons to clean myself and I don't have enough availability of resin, which is what's inside this, I'm going to clean myself. That's where the salt comes in. Basically what happens is it cleans itself off, and it recharges itself, and it takes the sodium, and it puts it into the resin, 
And then basically there's an, what they call an ion exchange. And basically what happens is it takes out the hard minerals, but it exchanges it with the sodium that's coming from the brine tank or the salt tank, okay? That's why salt's so important. Now, this is a softening system. This is a... Uh, hold on a second, let me put this head on. This is a conditioning system. Now, basically what this is, is this is a fancy filtration system. Now, the reason it's got the clack head on it is because what it's doing is it's also checking that, that fil filter system. It's not checking resin, but it's checking filters, and it's seeing how much life's in the filter. And basically, this has a 10-year warranty on it. What that means is that this, for 10 years, will clean itself no matter what. It will clean itself and recharge all that filtration stuff. So the bad stuff coming in that's collected into that, and this wouldn't be hardness. This would be more chemical. This is mineral. This is chemical. And so when this takes out all the bad chemicals coming in the water, the, this one also has what they call an ionizer in there. And basically it's like two magnets together. If you put positive, two positive magnets together, they force each other apart. And they, basically that's what happens with the ionizer. And it's called a suspending system. This is softening. This is a conditioner with a suspension system in it. And that's the difference in the two. But if you notice, the heads are the same. We want these style of heads being in there because this is what's going to actually keep you to where you're not wasting water in your home. This is going to make it more efficient for the water coming in. So it's based on what you're using and not on time. That's why we pick these, these type of water softeners. We want to make sure that you're getting the best in your home. And the best is something based on your use, not based on time. So that's the important part of trying to pick out a water softener. Now I go to Home Depot all the time. I see, see the water softeners they have there and I get questions all the time. Lance, what's the difference between your water softener and Home Depot's water softener? That's the difference. Home Depot water softeners have a clock system. So it'll clean itself based on time, how long between cleanings. This system is a clax head system. So it cleans itself based on your use of water, not the time of it being since the last cleaning. It'll be based on, hey, this is how much I have left and I need to be cleaned right now. Or I don't need to be cleaned for a couple of days. And it saves you water in the long run. If you go on vacation, your other water softener is going to just still keep cleaning itself. If you go on vacation with one of these, it won't do that because it's based on use. That's the difference in the water softeners we're putting in. Plus, they're a little bit better quality. We won't go into that. I have a little bit longer life resin in there, an extended life resin. It gives you a little bit more long uh, use out of it um, instead of the cheap resin, which is what usually Home Depot puts in. That's the differences. Is it important to, to know about these things ahead of time? Yes. You want to know that you're saving money by saving water by not having that cleaning system going off every so often having it go off based on your use that's very energy efficient that's why we push these ones have a wonderful weekend folks have a great friday we'll catch you next week